What's going on guys? So today we're going to talk about NVIDIA's RTX Broadcast Engine. So first and foremost, this is the microphone noise removal setting. It's on right now. I'm going to turn it off so you can hear the difference. Okay, so now it should be off. You should hear the hiss of the air conditioner in the background. And I'm going to turn it back on. All right, so moving on. Uh, the RTX voice also uh, will remove noise from a speaker source. Uh, I have no great way of showing this right now. Um... Well, they have a method, but basically just like the microphone setting, you can set your output. And if it detects something that it classifies as actual just background noise, it will try to remove it. So you'll have a cleaner playback experience. And last but not least, one of the things a lot of people have been waiting for, hoping that this feature would be good, is the camera AI stuff. So here we go. I have a Logitech Brio camera. You can see right there. This is my active display now right now for the whole entirety of this video so far it's been on the setting auto frame when I move it follows me so I'm always in view uh, and uh, you can also zoom it or you can zoom out now that's auto frame we have background blur background replacement background background removal and auto frame Background blur, blur, first of all. Uh, you can see a bokeh effect in my background right here. That's all this does. Keeps you in focus, bokeh is your background. It's actually probably one of the nicer effects. Next, background replacement. Now, right now I have it, I have it set to a green screen, but you can select just about anything. Um, here's a black, black night satellite, a space scene. And you can see it's not perfect. There is, there are some issues with it. Um, unfortunately, it's to me, it's more comparable to some of the cheaper software version um, auto green screeners like Personify. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, background removal. It's exactly like background replacement, just removes it. What I actually found works best is when I set that and then I set um, a green screen background I do that and then I go to the webcam setting of uh, my OBS and just turn on chroma key now as I said this is not perfect but this is where RTX broadcast engine currently stands now I'm fairly well lit and it still has some trouble, which is kind of dumb. It shouldn't have the trouble it's having. Also, I have, a, I have an actual green screen behind me. It shouldn't be so flickery. Look, I turned it off. Look, my actual green screen chroma keying works perfectly. Perfectly. No issues. But when I turn this on, I get flicker. So they, they got some more work to do when it comes to, you know, really getting this to look nice. Uh, but I wanted to show it off, show you guys. Maybe it'll work better for you, the background replacement slash removal. Uh, or maybe this is enough. I don't know. It's up to you. You have to try this out. If you have an Ampere or Turing-based graphics card, RTX graphics card, uh, download the RTX broadcast engine. Uh, I will have the link in the video description so you can download it, install it, try it out. The I can tell you right off the bat, the RTX voice noise removal thing works fairly well. It's one of my favorite new features. The AI video stuff, it needs work. Um, but it may be better than you know what you have. Perhaps you have a terrible environment. Like I don't know, maybe you work in a meat locker and there's meat hanging up behind you and you don't want that in, in shot and a little flicker 
you know, here and there is an acceptable thing. Have you tried it? How does it work for you? Leave your comments in the video description. Tell me what you guys think. Try it out. Um, I like it, but mostly for the RTX voice AI stuff. I, I, I really hope they improve the camera stuff even more, get the AI really good, but right now it needs work. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later.